All right, hello guys. How's it going? In today's video, we're going to be talking about some upcoming severe weather. We still have some of that on the way, maybe even some worse than what we've had over this weekend. And then also that very extreme snowstorm that's going on over the Rockies as we speak. For today's comment of the day, I want to know how long until you think we get our next moderate risk of severe weather? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Let's get straight into things, and we're taking a look at the whole United States. You can see a whole lot of rain going on there for the central United States and a whole lot of snow going on over there for the Rockies. So the first thing I want to do here is I want to just zoom in right into that snowstorm real quick. Now this thing is really picking up steam. It's not fully underway at all. We are going to take a look at the modeled guidance for this one coming up very shortly in this video. Uh, but right now you can see plenty of those blues going on, which is indicating some very heavy snowfall. Most of that is north of Denver uh, and near Cheyenne there in Wyoming. Also up there in central Wyoming, we are getting some of that heavier snowfall as well. This is really going to begin to build together. And uh, obviously this is just going to be a historic snowstorm uh, for most of these regions. Uh, so let's take a look a little bit further east at that rainfall going on. Now, we've been mentioning for a few days now that there was some flooding possible with this storm system. It is a very strong storm system, so we have lots of rain, severe weather, and also snow associated with it. Uh, those yellows are indicating the heavier areas of, of rainfall going on, but you know that, obviously. Uh, we do have some flooding reports of some heavier rain coming down for central Kansas and central Nebraska there. Uh, none of these are thunderstorms at this point. It's a pretty cold morning, so I think that's probably why we have some just heavier showers at the current moment. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to move on. We're going to recap yesterday's tornado outbreak. We're going to talk all about that. And then we're going to break down the upcoming severe weather because there is some bigger severe weather threats coming up. And then what I want to do is I just want to talk about that model guidance for this snowstorm that is ongoing. Now, quickly, first off, here is some pictures from our live stream yesterday. I hope you guys were able to make it, but if you weren't, here's a little bit of a recap. We saw multiple tornado reports come in yesterday, absolute tornado outbreak, and this was at about 4.39 p.m. Eastern time. That's March 13th, depending on, you know, when you're watching this video. It might have been yesterday, but it could have been a few days ago. That's why I told you the date. But we did have a very strong supercell, actually, near Canyon, Texas, and this one did drop a major tornado uh, near Happy, Texas there. Uh, and later on, a little bit later on here by 5.40 p.m. Eastern Time, we had another very strong hook echo. So we had multiple very strong supercells uh, that made their way into the panhandle of Texas. That was a very good live stream, guys. I was uh, having a lot of fun there with you guys there. Here's our total storm reports from that one. We had 11 tornadoes, 18 damaging wind reports, and 17 hail reports. Uh, big tornado day, but also a big severe weather day in general. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on, and we're going to talk about some of those severe weather days, including today, tomorrow, day three, even day four, five, uh, and beyond. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at that upcoming snowstorm, or actually, better yet, ongoing snowstorm. All right, now here we go. We're talking about today. And as you can see, we only have a general thunderstorm risk there in that lighter green. You can have severe weather in these, but, you know, you're not really expecting it. It's those darker greens where we start to see some severe weather. So for Arkansas, Louisiana, uh, and then even Mississippi, and then up through Kansas. Now, this was a slight risk as of yesterday, but they went ahead and downgraded this. So I don't think we have too big of a threat for severe weather through the day today. Uh, they're not very impressed over there at the Storm Prediction Center. Now, as we move towards day three, or sorry, day two, this is going to be Monday and through Tuesday morning, very, very early on Tuesday morning. As you can see, we only have a uh, general thunderstorm risk. So we're going to get a nice break from the severe weather on day two here. We could get upgraded to a marginal risk there, but for now, we're just a general thunderstorm risk. Day three, however, we end up getting a slight risk of severe weather again on day three with leaving room for an enhanced risk or more. Uh, this is how that yesterday started out. We saw a slight risk, and then eventually they added an enhanced risk, and then eventually a moderate risk as well. So anything can happen, but this is for Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, and Kansas on day three, Tuesday and through Wednesday, probably going to be going live that day. Uh, and then also day four, which is going to possibly be one of our bigger severe weather days so far this year where they've added the 15% chance, which indicates a slight risk at least, and then a 30% chance there for Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, and Alabama, as well as a little bit of Tennessee. And that indicates at least an enhanced risk at this point for day four. So they're leaving a lot of room for uh, some sort of upgrade to a moderate risk or hopefully not more uh, for day four. We're going to be tracking this very closely, so I will probably be going live Tuesday, Wednesday, and now even taking a look at day five, 
possibly even Thursday here as we have a 15% chance, at least a slight risk of severe weather from the panhandle of Florida up through Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and even southeastern Virginia, my local region. So it looks like we're going to have another week of severe weather. And the interesting thing is we're going to be approaching rapidly the beginning of April, uh, which is going to mean more and more severe weather. So, so far we're seeing a pretty active March. Uh, so we're going to have to see how that carries through into April, May, and beyond. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to move on and we're going to focus on that very major snowstorm and blizzard going on for the Rocky Mountains and the Northern Plains. Now here we are taking a look at those warnings, watches, and advisories, and I wanted to draw your attention to this because we have winter weather advisories there in those purplish colors, even up in through California and Oregon, but more specifically our storm we're talking about today, the four corner states up through Wyoming, Nebraska, South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, and then even a little bit of Wisconsin and Illinois. Winter storm warnings located in those pink regions there for Wyoming, Nebraska, South Dakota, Colorado, uh, and then even areas there um, for Iowa, Minnesota, and another region in eastern South Dakota there. And then we have blizzard warnings located in those oranges for Wyoming, Nebraska, and South Dakota. Let's go ahead and take a look at that modeled guidance here. And we saw what was happening on current radar a little bit earlier, but let's take a look at that future uh, radar here. And as you can see, we have the strong storms there in the central United States very early this morning, but we have some pretty moderate to heavy snowfall going on there for Wyoming and Colorado by this point. Let's take that towards about 3 p.m. today, and it's going to get heavier there for Colorado, Wyoming, and then moving in through Nebraska and South Dakota as well by this point with a 996 millibar low pressure center which is definitely a stronger low pressure center there located over the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma. Let's just move that a little bit forward. And as you can see, finally, by about maybe 5 a.m. tomorrow on Monday, March 15th, we will be weakening a bit with that low pressure center uh, and really the snow overall. It moves out of the Rockies for the most part, and we have a 1,003 millibar low pressure center. So it is kind of decreasing in intensity there. Uh, and then by the time we reach about 7 p.m. there on Monday, you can see it is basically all said and done there. So let's go ahead and take a look at those total snowfall amounts. And as you can see, just extreme snowfall expected. Uh, if you're anywhere in the grades, we're expecting a dusting to two inches of snow. In the blues, two to six. In the purples, six to ten. In those pinks, ten to twenty. And then within kind of those bluish, pinkish shades there that we can see for Wyoming and Colorado. That's where we're 20 inches plus, but this model is picking up a maximum of 73.5 inches of snow. Uh, but we do have some pretty widespread amounts over 36 inches of snow, uh, which is obviously just a large amount of snow. We're taking a look at three feet plus being pretty widespread throughout those mountainous regions uh, with the potential for even more than that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on. And we're going to take a little bit of a look at that system next week, which also could be a snowstorm, but also is going to bring severe weather as well. So we're starting things out on about Tuesday at probably about 11 p.m. So we're talking just a few days from now. Uh, and as you can see, another strong low pressure system is developing there for the panhandle of Texas. Almost the same exact location there, but we have a 995 millibar low pressure center uh, and then a 998 millibar low pressure center over Oklahoma. That's that uh, severe weather risk first off for day three there uh, for Oklahoma, Kansas, uh, Arkansas there. So we're taking a look at uh, Tuesday and through Wednesday, the threat there. And then we're going to see the Gulf states get involved. But we do see some of that snowfall for the panhandle of Oklahoma, Kansas, uh, Colorado, New Mexico, Texas as well. Very interesting to see snowfall for those regions in March. And then by the time we're reaching Thursday morning, you can see we see most of that severe weather going on for Alabama, Florida, Georgia, and uh, eventually the Carolinas. But it's going to move up in through those regions by about, I would say, probably 4 a.m. there on Friday and be for the most part all said and done, that low pressure center is a 1,001 millibar low pressure center. The interesting thing is by the time we're reaching about 7 p.m. there on Friday, this low pressure center moves offshore of the East Coast. And then we see some snowfall develop for the mid-Atlantic there, uh, Maryland, West Virginia, Northern Virginia, the Delmarva, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. We'll have to wait and see if that plays out. Obviously, that's decreasing my confidence a little bit in this video as we're moving into the uh, medium range with something that's a little bit far-fetched. So... For today's confidence tab, we're at a four out of six. So we've decreased a little bit as we've talked about some things that are longer range, including the severe weather next week, which is a little bit longer range, but definitely um, that low pressure center e reaching the East Coast is a little bit lower confidence in general. Anyways, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, Sebastian Tal, John Ben Benick, James Wade, Dovi Nagel, Alan Belemo, Adam S., 
Larry LePan, Donna Carnes, Cameron Marshall, and Aiden Mattis, alongside our Diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Alan Cherry, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Cotalesa, Michael Buell, Catbite, Charles Stinnett, Kellen Manhart, It's J, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Flago, Garys, and John Qualisi. If you would like to be a part of this patron end screen of the day, you can do so by joining our very exciting Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share with your friends, family, and social media. I will see you guys in the next video.